All right, let's talk some politics now. And this weekend, as you're watching the Olympics here, other than Tom, the 2012 elections will hit a milestone. Sunday is 100 days to the election, and obviously see where we are right now as we approach the weekend. Now, those 100 days, they're going to fly by here. Lots of major events in the calendar between now and November. Sometime between now and mid-August, Romney, he's going to have to pick his uh, running mate here. August 27th, Republican convention begins in Tampa. Andrew's going to be down there reporting live for us. A week later, September 3rd, comes a Democratic convention. I'll be in Charlotte for that. October 3rd, we've got our first presidential debate. They're going to be talking about domestic policy. And October 11th, you got the VP debate. Biden will be fun for that one. October 16th, the town hall presidential debate. That's coming from our neck of the woods in Hofstra on Long Island. And October 22nd, they're going to be talking foreign policy in uh, the debate. And finally, November 6th, we vote here. America goes to the polls. Now, with so much here expected to happen between then and now, we thought tonight would be a good idea to say we're in the final stretch here. They got a lot of money they still haven't spent here, um, and we're going to figure out what they're going to do. But, Andrew, first, give us where the, the scorecard is right now. Where are they? Rich, this race has remained remarkably stable since the end of the Republican primaries. It's close, with President Obama slightly ahead by nearly everyone's measure. Latest poll average from Real Clear Politics, putting all the other polls into a blender and seeing what comes out, has the president ahead by about a point and a half. And as we move to the electoral map, you can see the red and blue divide on RCP's map there. They have it at Obama 231, Romney 181, 126 electoral votes from toss-up states. Similar message, close race, Obama slightly ahead from Nate Silver at the Times 538 blog. Silver right now projecting Obama as a two-point winner, giving the president a 65% chance of being reelected. And here's Silver's electoral vote breakdown. He gives Virginia, Michigan, and Ohio to Obama, Florida, and North Carolina to Romney. Obama projected at 292 electoral votes, Romney at 246. Rich. Whatever it's worth, as you like to say, Silver had it right on the button uh, three and a half years ago. Okay, this is what I like to do. And Dominic, uh, the floor is yours here. Uh, you sit down here, you're sitting down with Axelrod and Pluck, and you say, okay, we've got 100 days out, guys. This is what we're going to do, and the only thing we care about is winning in November. What are they, what do they focus on? What are the big things they're trying to get across in the debates, on the stump, commercials, et cetera, between now and then? One, uh, the only thing that does count right now is getting uh, reelected. That is the only issue. I would say, Mr. President, we have got to turn you back into Barack Obama of 2008. Now, the bad news is what made you so uh, interesting to the American and intriguing to the American public is that you didn't have a record. So the Republicans couldn't hang a record around your neck. And the only thing that you did have, really, was your opposition to the Iraq war, and that was a good thing. But now, Mr. President, we got a problem. We have a real problem. So tell me what we do it's about called it, unemployment. And, and, and Mr. President, you have got to ignite and excite the country. You have got to say, things are not where I want them to be, but I have started the road to recovery, and these Republicans won't get out of my way. So you want to With go your after Romney. You have to, oh, and you got to expose Romney as almost an empty suit on almost every issue except so for business. So do you tell them what you do different for the next four years, or do you focus on that you're better than the other guy? You focus on you're better than Romney, and I would throw everything at him, including the kitchen sink, and, and, you know, in a nice way, the via surrogates. And, and you, you've got to, Mr. President, destroy him in a debate. The only plus he has is Bain. And, Mr. President, you have got to show the American people why Bain failed and why it's not a good thing for America. you got to turn into Barack Obama of four years ago. All right. Now, you go into the Romney camp and say, all right, guys, obviously we've got to keep him off of uh, jet skis and out of his uh, elevator in his, uh, in his home in California for the car. But seriously, Tom, what do you tell them they got to do different or the same for the next 100 days? <laughs> Well, I think that first he's got to put a wetsuit on because the mud, the toilet, and every other possible thing that Barack Obama and his presidential team is going to be thrown at him. That is all they're going to do. That's the only ads they're going to run is to attack, 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 attack. There will be not one ad that says, over the last four years, I did the following for you. His greatest, you know, thing was health care. You will not see one I'm ad on it. Wait, so if you're Mitt Romney, what I do is bring out the fact that this man came into office and said he was going to be the most transparent president we've ever had. And go through the list, whether it's Guantanamo Bay, whether it's health care, it was never on C-SPAN. 
This guy's no different. He's your typical politician. And look at where the economy is today. Look at the debt that is mounted up in this country. Talk about the economic situation in this country. Because this, this election, the 6 7% that's undecided right now, they will remain undecided until the presidential debates. Talk about the economy and how you're going to fix it. And while you're doing well, do that... Do you tell him what he did wrong, mostly? Or do you say what you'll do if elected? I think a combination of both. I think you got to continue... Do you have to tell him what you're going to do? I think that you need to... I think that the six or seven undecided, they really tend to be the smartest people out there. They're the ones who can go either way. you got to give them something to believe that he does. Right now, after all the millions that have been spent on the Bain nonsense, etc., He's two to one in the latest Gallup poll on the economy, Does the Romney. Does VP pick matter? I think the VP pick matters only if he picks someone who is unqualified for the office. But if it's a Portman I or I think a Portman a or Rubio that can help you lock down. Portman helps you a tremendous amount in a state like Ohio that you need to win to win the presidency. So, but also the last thing I would say is if Mitt Romney ever had that moment where he connected on some level with the American people, where they felt like, God, that's an uncle. Does he even I, I, have I, the capability? I don't know the answer yeah. to that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, remember this: is that back in 1980, I was shocked to learn that two weeks before the Carter Reagan race, it was a dead heat. Yeah. I was shocked to learn that. After the last debate, there you go again, a blowout. Yep. I think we are set up for that possibility to happen. If Obama stays at 45, 46, it's over for so him. So no bets at the. Uh, $10,000 bets at the debate. All right, Andrew. Right. The themes that might dictate this that won't come out of the debates, we saw a vote that came out in the Senate um, yesterday on tax cuts. It's going to go to the House now. What, if anything, do you think outside of, outside of an uh, um, international incident or something, that could come up that could change this narrative? You know, there's, there's honestly not a lot unless you see the economy recover dramatically or slide dramatically. Which it probably won't between now and November. Pro there's a better chance that it'll slide dramatically than yeah. it would that it recovers dramatically, so, so advantage to Romney for that. But I think it, it, the tax issue that we saw play out yesterday in terms of the tax cuts up to the first $250,000 of income uh, and, and the 99% versus the 1%, if that theme, which there's a hint of in all the Bain attacks and all the attacks on Romney's uh, taxes and, and that sort of thing. But if that is framed to, to Obama's advantage, I think that could tip the balance for him. If it's framed towards Romney's advantage, it could tip the balance for him. It's just a matter of whether people get the sense of tax fairness or whether this is somehow picking on you know, the, the job creators. Yep. You know?